this hydroponic uh, fodder uh, is a simple way of uh, producing feeds for chicken, pigs, and uh, even dairy cows. So this thing is a safe thing. It just takes one week to go. And uh, I just want to show you how the mat is coming up. The mat is something at the end, it can now be rolled and given to, to our dairy cows. Now at this stage, uh, this thing now here, uh, this is the one that is best for chicken because it still have some seeds that we can use as we give them. So you just take it at this point, you give it to chickens. Now I want to take you through the simple procedure on how to prepare this fodder. In the first place, uh, what we do is just to have seeds from certified companies. Uh, the seeds we can use are barley, we can use hots, we can use uh, even wheat. Now the one we have here is wheat. The first thing we do is that we just take it in water. We have water, we soak this thing in water for two days, that is 48 hours. And then we come, we get a simple tray, a tray just as simple like this one here. You spread it here, one kilo of this one here, and then you put it to be so wet. Then the first thing you have to do is to ensure that you irrigate these seeds daily. That is three times a day, in the morning, uh, noon time, and after, uh, in the evening. You ensure that uh, you put one liter of water in each tray, uh, such that by the time uh, it starts to sprout, uh, the same water can be collected, given to the second tray, where the water seeps, and then it is through gravity, the perforation of the other all the other side, and the same water can be collected using the gutter and be reused. Now this system is very simple and it's very economical because it is less costly. You don't need labor here. You don't need anybody to work over this place. And again, you just have to work it in a very convenient environment. Just a simple structure as this one of mine. It's a two by 2.5. This one can be able to feed. Uh, the one tray that we have here can be able to feed. Um, it can be able to feed uh, 10 chicken uh, within a short period of time. Now this kind of uh, hydroponic fodder is very beneficial because it has some beneficial factors to chicken, even to dairy, and even to pigs. First, it improves and it boosts immunity of the dairy. It also has high content of energy. It has high in fiber. And also it is cost effective because it reduces the cost of such, uh, of having more supplements that are supposed to be added. Now, when the cow consume this thing, it consume everything. This thing, I can roll it into mat. I just take it and I split it into pieces. I give my pigs. Uh, essentially, uh, this thing here, just one tray, whole tray can feed one cow per day. It's enough because it has, it is watery, which is high content of protein. It has vitamins of greenish effect. It has the seed which is requires, this is more of starch. And now this is a carbohydrate. So the cow consume everything. The same uh, likewise to the chicken. Now, when I talk about uh, construction materials, we have the screen net. The screen net is black in color. And the reason why we use it is that it provides visibility for the greenhouse, especially when somebody is inside here, when somebody is outside, you can be able to see something uh, that is working inside. Again, uh, this particular pest net prevent pests and uh, other kind of diseases that might get into our screen house. Two, uh, we have the polythene, uh, which is the black polythene that I've just used here for a demonstration. This black polythene here, uh, it is just to prevent uh, any necessary uh, soil that might come because we need this place to be clean. So we have used this, but the floor we can also uh, do uh, we can cement the floor rough so that this place become uh, so clean. So this this thing for it to be essential, there has to be hygiene. Eye hygiene here is required. We have our first thing, remove this bag. We have this first uh, where we put the disinfectant here and then uh, you can be able to uh, disinfect your feet here first 
before you get in so everything that we need here should be uh, we require more hygiene in this place now in this essential this water that we use here for hydroponic it's supposed to be very clean free from any chemical free from chlorine free from any traces of elements because what the plant requires is just clean water so in hydroponic fodder it's just a simple way because you don't need to use more water you just move one liter small portion of water and then the same water you recollect so you reduce even the cost and also you reduce you save water so this system is very good to those that are having um, very very minimal pieces of land because you can have something like this can feed for you more chicken and more pigs so it's just a safe way the tray we have here is made of aluminium now the reason why we have the tray made of aluminium is that to avoid rusting rusting effect because this one doesn't rise because rusting actually will cause rotting effect on the particular uh, uh, plant or the inter particular barley fodder so this one is recommended and it's already ready at this stage it is a six day we planted it on uh, monday on on sunday and right now it is now ready for chicken and also for pigs now this system is a kind of system where it is raised we can have a two-sided this is this of us is just one side we can have another side this side where we can also raise it but we ensure that we maintain the slope such that this slope should not be too high it should just be a gentle slope and everything can be done so this is just a simple uh, experimentation but we can have a bigger portion like this so somebody may ask me can how, how, how many chicken can we have can this one feed this one can feed close to 15 chicken in a day as that it it actually has all contents that the chicken requires it has the vitamins that is greening effect this part of greening effect this is high in vitamins because most of the time we normally go to the to the uh, farm we require the vegetables and we give our chicken especially layers this is more of vitamins and then we have the grains which are very essential for starch and that's a carbohydrate and then this rooting effect that is whitish part is high in fiber and high in energy that is required for chicken that is what is under this hydroponic fodder we can also have alternatives where we can also use sorghum but we have to look at the content of protein and starch in every every particular thing so in hydroponic fodder is a situation where we just grow plants we grow crops we grow uh, animal feeds we only use clean water just have a small water here you just spray on top here and then everything go so once you are spraying here on top here this water will have to flow and get into another tray and the same tray will give the next tray and that process continues and that is all so hi guys i hope you have heard more about these are simple things you can do even at home you don't need to use a lot of capital it doesn't require more capital it's just a simple structure that you can be able to do and the work well goes this one substitute a lot for dairy it substitute a lot for chicken it substitute a lot for pigs and everything is just to cut the cost of what you want to do welcome i'm daniel olango uh, from Enloret technical training uh, institute um, according to this structure all the materials that we need we engage here these materials we you can source from us we have the trays uh, one tray going at 900 shillings you can source from us all the pest nets we got but this one we look at the high percentage of quality the timber this one the farmer can just have but the requirement we have are the trays which we sell one at uh, 900 shillings it is a three a three by two feet tray and this tray we give you fully also with perforated holes at the end and also to add on that we also offer training of the same only for two weeks we offer training for two weeks you come at our site farm in Kapsaret. Uh, we train you for two weeks and we also give you seeds and one tray at the end of the training so uh, if you want more uh, to know more about this you can contact me uh, at 07 uh, 10 268 642 or the same number is also a whatsapp number you can also call 07 83 
422879. You can get me from uh, that number and then we can be able to join and train you for that two weeks.